Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the last video that I published, about how I made it, and uh, I've got an exciting announcement to make. So yeah, stick around for that and let's get to it. Right, so I apologize for the lighting. I'm having to film this video on my lunch break right now, so the lighting is not the best. But anyway, let's jump right into it and let's talk about how I filmed the cinematic B-roll of a digital artist. Now, first of all, I titled it that because I was hoping using the word cinematic would generate sort of a buzz because people are using that word a lot nowadays and I don't think that a lot of the videos you see really are cinematic however i do feel like this was pretty cinematic because i filmed it in a way that you might see it in a movie documentary something like that so you see the artist you see him sit down um, the artist is my good friend michael um, you see him working on his digital art and you see time passing and you see the way we portray that so anyway let's get right into the video and uh, we'll watch it together and uh, talk a little bit about what's going on there all right let's see okay so opening with the quote classic something you might see in a documentary get the reveal shot switch to a wide shot close up and back to like a medium shot while he's thinking over the shoulder gets ready and he draws now this is where the passage of time really starts um, because we know what he's doing now so we're gonna see kind of how how it happens Got that macro shot and then right here what I did was I actually took a uh, time lapse from uh, the the program that he used to draw and then I just changed the the adjustment the way it blended and overlaid it there I uh, got a time lapse there of him working now that time lapse was actually Michael's idea I think that just as important as any aspect of filming something like this is having creative people uh, to be around to be around you and to Kind of use their mindsets because um, they'll sometimes have ideas that you didn't have and uh, I think that's really important so let's keep going here kind of slowing the pace down as he finishes up contemplation and we kind of mirror the opening with another push in shot for the close there we go and a little bit of digital push in the end yeah so that's the video um, now I would say one of the most important aspects of the video was the music. So one thing you're going to want to do when you're filming something like that is make sure that you find music and it might take you a while, but make sure it matches up with the tempo, the pacing, the feel of the video. That's going to be very important. So when I was filming that, we kind of thought about doing like a French background music, some like accordion, something like that. Maybe I even getting a French voiceover off of Fiverr or something like that. But when I tried putting in songs like that, nothing just, nothing fit. And I know a lot of people will tell you that you should choose your song first and then film. I think that that's a good idea. However, I like to film first and then find the song that matches the mood. I do think that that's more difficult, but that's just how I like to do it because sometimes I don't know what kind of music I want, what the music needs to be until I actually get into the editing. Let's talk a little bit more about the technical details. So all of that was shot with natural light on my Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera at 4K. Uh, the only frame rates I used were 24 and 60, just because I didn't think that there was a point where we needed high, high frame rate, 120 frames per second, anything like that. So I was really pleased with that overall look. I used the Canon 100mm 2.8 for that macro shot. Primarily I was using the 28 to 135 f 4 to 5.6 lens. It's kind of an older lens, but I think it looks really good on that camera. And then I also use the Sigma 10 to 20, uh, 3.5 to 5.6. So yeah, that lens also looked really nice for that like wide shot that you saw there on the time lapse. If you have any questions about any aspects of that video, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you, let you know, um, you know, whatever you might want to know about that video. So now for the big announcement. This video actually marks the end of what I'm going to call season one for this YouTube channel. 
So it's been the first season of tutorials for videography, photography, things like that. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a break over Christmas and try to plan some stuff out. And then next year, starting in January, we're gonna start with season two. So that's the big announcement. I wanna try to clean things up, make them a little bit more formatted, maybe add an intro, um, try to make it just a little more consistent. I think that that'll be a good thing for this channel. We've seen a lot of growth during this first season. I hope to see even more growth in season two. Probably make the seasons roughly 10 episodes long and then, uh, you know, take a couple weeks off, go back and film another 10 so that we're hopefully doing close to 40 videos every year. So yeah, that's the big announcement. Hope you guys have enjoyed this season. If there's anything you want to see in season two, let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and uh, stick around to see more content. I might put out another video or two this year, but if not, we'll see you next year.